Is your father still alive? Yeah, yeah, my father's still alive. Good relationship with your father? Great relationship. Favorite Father's Day memory, if you have one? I bought a Range Rover and I gave it to him. Yeah, I was, I was out in the streets doing a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, I bought a 2000, like a 2010 Range Rover, HSC. I was flexing for a little while. Then one of my shocks went out. And I was like, man, this thing's gonna be expensive, like 2,500 to get it fixed. And I had the money at the moment, so I was trying to catch a flight, make some bread. Then I called my father, I'm like, yo, what you doing? He's like, then I'm chilling. I'm like, pull up on me. I was gonna ask for the money, right? Mm. I ain't asked him, I ended up hitting the move for like 15,000. And Father's Day was like the next week. He was like, man, let me drive your car. He's driving it. I was like, maybe just keep it. He was like, what? I'm like, you can keep it. Just ripping and running. Nice yeah. gift. That's a, that's a cold gift. That's a bad <laughs> gift. <laughs> now, uh, when did you know your father was a real one? <laughs> when I was a shorty. I was three years old. I'll never forget it. I was three. He showed me a picture when I got older. I was throwing up the pyramid. Mm. I was like, man, that was me. My mom, all they all from the hood, they always on the same block. So I was like, I was really like born into this. I was born into the spiritual, the Christian, the, the whole good life too. But at the same time, I was born into a whole nother world. You know what I'm saying? I knew my pops was a real one because I always used to be around him. We was in the hood. All his old homies that he hanged with. I used to I used to be in the, in the car with my pops and he used to, you know, been blocks or whatever. I used to always turn my head. Never knew what was going on. Act like I didn't know, but I knew. Mm. So I knew what was up. What's one thing your dad did for you that you will never forget? I was, I, yo, I've been waiting to say this. He told me, put God first, respect your mother and your father, and get an education. He's been telling me that since I was like, since I was like three. Like, that's all he ever said. He didn't care what I did, no matter what. I've been, been to jail several times. He wanted me out, got me out, picked me up from jail. 26 California, anything. He, what I told you, put God first, respect your mother and your father, get education. That was it. Now, I don't know if that answer counts for this next question, but I'm going to ask this question anyways. What's the best advice your father has given you? Now or back then? Either or, whatever you want to share with us. Now, the best advice he gave me is wrap it up. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but back then... It had to be that. Put God first, respect your mother and your father, and get education. Did he ever do music himself? Nah, nah. My father, my father was a real high-profile guy, but he was uh, real low-key. He did uh. a lot of major moves. So uh, he never, he's never been into the, the scenery. I got that kind of from like my mother's side. You know mm. what I'm saying? My father been like always real low-key, two, three phones, but all like you know little business phones. Was he supportive of your music career choice? Uh, I never, I took off in this music, I started doing this music a few years ago, so nobody really took it serious. I didn't even take it serious, because I was living a rapper lifestyle already, to an extent, you know what I'm saying? But I think now that I focused in and gave myself 110% commitment into this, they've been big supporters. They've been calling me, you know, coaching me on things. So he had to warm up to it, like you had to warm up to it. Everybody did. Was there a turning point for him specifically, though? Mm. Yeah, I thought I kind of like broke the media on a couple of little moves or whatever the case is. He started seeing and people started contacting him. You know what I'm saying? And I think he started to realize like, yo, this might be real. My son might be a big figure. So he started, you know, contacting me saying, yo, I need to talk to you. We'd be on the phone two, three hours, just breaking down a lot of different stuff. Like, yo, you should move like this. Keep these people from around you. Keep this type of energy around you you know, stay prayed up. So that's all he really gave me. He never really gave me no musical advice. He always gave me advice on the people around me so therefore I can focus on my music. Mm. Now, it's one thing to be supportive for a parent of their child's career choice. It's another for them to like what their child actually does. So in this case with music, does he actually like your music? Yeah. I actually, does. Yeah, I actually pulled down on him when I was back in Chicago. And we sat in the car in front of Church's Chicken. He pulled up on me, and I was like, yo, listen to this. I played it. 
he was like, yo, you putting some real messages in this music, man. You sure you want to, you know, say this? I was like, yeah, got to. Because I've always been embarrassed of saying my story to an extent. Like, I always never wanted to tell people, like, my pops did this, my mama did this, I did this. Because I feel like that's why people was judging people, you know what I'm saying? So I never really wanted to say nothing. I just was like, try to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? And that put me in a certain type of light to where people was like, yo, nobody knows your story. You know what I'm saying? And then, if nobody knows my story, then they think it's made up. So they never really knew. So I started putting stuff in my music. Like, yo, this, this, and that. And then if people was to break it down and to go back to the past to look it up, it's there. You see what I'm saying? So that's the way I'm delivering my music now. I'm speaking straight knowledge and I'm speaking past tense and present tense while I'm, you know, elevating. So yeah, he liked my music. Have you made a song about him yet? Similar, nah, not a whole song, but I uh, I put some things in the song that I know that he knew it was about him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of major moves. 